we're going to be terminating a shielded Cat 5e outdoor cable. You'll just need these tools. So first, we are going to strip off about an inch and a half off the end of this cable. You only want to twist this like six times because if you twist it too much it's going to cut past the coating and through the foil inside which we want to keep intact. And then we can just kind of snap it off here. Looks like the foil is still intact. There's a little rip cord here we can get rid of. And then you can kind of just twist the foil shield and it'll come off and we're just going to pull it back kind of gently here so we don't rip it or break it. But you want to fold it back so it's not all bulky at the bottom because it makes it easier to put the uh, connector over it when it comes to that time. And there's a drain wire too. We're just going to leave that out as well. There's also some cellophane. We're going to get rid of that. Just rip it down to the bottom. All right, and we're gonna be terminating all these cables to the B standard. And twist these guys out. Saving my fingers here. I'm going to take the kinks out. So in the end, we're going to want the shielding to be on this side of the connector. So I'm going to kind of arrange my wires that will allow for that. Light orange, orange. You kind of want to keep these neat and so they don't get all clumped up at the bottom. Just makes it easier to put on this connector, which is a shielded Cat 5E connector. Light orange, orange, light green, blue, light blue, green, light brown, brown. Get those straightened out. And what I like to do too is kind of push the jacket up. Kind of gets rid of that clump there. That can be difficult to shove inside the connector. So we got all the right colors going there in the right order. I'm going to do a nice flush cut on the end here. 
do that over my trash can. Okay, there we go. And we are going to put the connector on. Yep, and it looks like we got the right color scheme. So we got it to this point. We're gonna clip off some of this excess foil. You only want about, I don't know, maybe like almost a, almost a half inch. So maybe three eighths of an inch. Cause you don't want it sticking out the bottom of the connector. I mean, I don't think it makes a huge difference, but if it is or not, but this is the way I've been doing it and it works great. And then we also are going to clip some of this drain wire off. It's about twice as long as the foil is. We're going to smooth out the foil. And then we're going to kind of just loop that drain wire around the foil here. Nice and tight. Once again, the tighter the better. It just makes it easier to insert it into the connector. So we're ready. Note that the foil is on the back side of the connector so it makes contact with these little shield um, clips inside here. Now what I'm going to do is actually mold it too a little bit. This doesn't ruin the specification at all. So I want to kind of make it the same shape as the inside of the connector there. Kind of like a rectangle. So I just take my pliers here squeeze it Pretty gently, you don't want to go crazy and break the uh, outer coat. Once again, that doesn't mess with the specification at all. And then we're going to try to slip it on here, fingers crossed, goes right in. And it looks like I did nip a little bit of the foil, so some of it is coming out. But we'll run a test on it after here and make sure it's grounding properly. Or shielded properly, I should say. Yeah, and it kind of makes a clipping sound when you get it pushed all the way in. And you'll notice that the jacket is almost all the way up at the gold connectors the um, Cat5 spec um, requires that it's pushed up as far as possible because then you maintain those twists which are really crucial to the, the validity of the cable. All right? We did end up with a little bit of a drain wire out. No biggie. Get that end twisted. And it's an easy connector, which is nice. So you've probably already noticed. Shove it through here and we're gonna crimp it. I'm gonna do it over my trash can here. And there we go. It looks good, we'll test it here. And I've already done this other end, similar fashion. And what we want is for this thing to test out on all its pairs and also on the shield. So we'll put on the test. 
and it looks good. I can go through each pair. First pair is good, second pair is good, third pair is good, fourth pair, and the shield is good. That's it.